Unplugged. Here's another live performance from 95 Will Rock Studio East. Live at 95 Will Rock Studio East. Top Keith here, and we welcome Papa Roach. What's up? We are we are freaking nervous. John Perry's even nervous today. Uh, Why are you nervous? We've had a lot of bands here in 95 Will Rock Studio East, but by far you are one of the uh, the bigger ones. We're so. the coolest one. Yeah, the coolest ones. That's what uh, I'm Fully. Yeah, We're so glad to be here. Freaking out a little bit. Congratulations, first off. Um, you guys have been a band for like, what, like two decades? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's unheard. You can't, nobody does anything for two decades anymore. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And let alone... The stress of being a, a rock band, being out on the road, and usually there's a lot of infighting and issues. And well, and you've gone through stuff like that. You want to know the secret? What's What's the secret? We fight like dogs. Really? Yeah, because it's like when dogs fight, they fight, and then like two minutes later, they're they're like licking each other and sniffing each other's butts. Yeah. <laughs> See you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how we. That's kind of how it works in the P Roach crew. <laughs> we do the first part. Now I'm not sniffing Tobin's yeah, butt. We do the first part, now, not the second part. Who's presenting the butt and who's presenting the tongue out of you guys? Is what yeah. I want to know. So. Well, definitely, I'm the you know I'm an ass man. So, so, so. <laughs> whatever. You didn't say giving or receiving though. We'll just let that one sit there for a while. Yeah. Whatever you want. So. So you would say Both. the sec secret to any relationship is just don't bottle it all up, let it all out there, and uh, yeah. and have at it. Say sorry, it works. And move on. Yeah, right? yeah, that's good stuff. Marriage advice from Papa Roach, or any kind of relationship or whatever. Yeah. Now, how much of that, uh, how much of that uh, gets into the albums and stuff like that? How much of the stuff is is crap you guys are going through? Uh, with each other, and how much is it just we're writing songs to make songs? I mean, ne not necessarily stuff that we're going with in our personal relationships yeah. with each other, but definitely, like, in our personal lives, you know, like, especially on this last record, uh, I was I went through hell making this last record. I got kicked out of my house, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I've been with this lady for, like, like 17 years, you know, and I was yeah. my whole life was turned upside down, and... You know, in the process, we're like trying to write a record, and I'm trying to get sober, and I'm trying to get my life together, and you know, so it was definitely a chaotic time, and I put all that into this into this record straight up. So some bands write. That's some, what got us through. Some bands write songs. You know, we got to write songs. Let's write some songs. We want to write some songs. It seems like it's about 50-50 when I talk to bands, and some bands, it is hardcore therapy. You're in there, and this is the the connection is is your therapy. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, that's good I'm, stuff. I mean, when I came in the studio, I was pretty wrecked, and they were just like, just write about what you're going through, man, because I kind of want to had this idea of trying to write this, like, super positive record, but nothing in my life was positive at that time, so you know, so I had to put so that you, off. So you spill your stuff out there, and then you're like, all right, let's find a catchy riff to go with my pain, or, or, or does... Oh, dude, these guys, they were like, they're in the studio just jamming, just riffing it up, and they're like, all right, when's it going to show up? <laughs> you know, we, we got some, we got some, we got some songs. Just throw some suffering over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, so yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, they just wrote the music, and it, I just, you know, stepped up to the plate and filled in with the lyrics and melodies. And now we got a dope record. You know, I yeah. mean, we're really happy with the material that we've written. And you know, for us, we're always one of those bands that are very adventurous with our songwriting. We're not, we're very fearless when it comes to our songwriting. You know, because I mean, when we first started, we came in with the new metal genre, and we've evolved. A gang of different ways over the course of the last, you know, X amount of years that we've been out here on the main scene. So yeah, well, two decades together, you got to evolve, and that's uh, you've pretty done crazy. It very well. you yeah. Know? You want to see any of this live? It's live right now at 95wheelrock.com, streaming live thanks to Vision Four Films. We got Jason and Emmett here. They're uh, doing it live. It'll also be online later on today if you can't get to uh, your computer today. But we're gonna do a couple of songs acoustic. If you want to see that, go now. Stop surfing Facebook. Go drop the porn and get to 95wheelrock.com. Better than porn for at least the next 15 minutes or so. Uh, we've got Papa Roach in studio. There are like a... I was going to say, I can whip it out if you want. Yeah. yeah. Or not. I thought, I thought you were actually going to. All right. I was waiting. Uh, but you can, you can see all that online. It's the internet. You can get away with that kind of stuff. That's what built the internet. So if you want to see it online now, thanks to Vision 4 Films at 95willrock.com. You can see it live tonight in the Fuel Room in Austin's. Good news is there are, as of this morning, there were like 100 tickets left. If you bust your ass and get to uh, the Austin's website or Austin Saloon, you can maybe score some tickets. But I wouldn't show up tonight expecting for sure to get them. Get them online uh, at austinsaloon.com. Let's get a song acoustic from these guys. Uh, they plug it in tonight at Austin's. What are you going to do for us acoustic first? Uh, first, we're going to play Before I Die. This was a... Uh one of those songs was very pivotal in the writing process for us and uh you know came in towards the end of a, end of the re well i'd say halfway through the record tobin was playing this uh it was on a keyboard he was playing it on so this song was born from like electronics and so uh this will be the first time we played it acoustic so here it is before i die
That is Papa Roach live at 95 Hill Rock Studio East. You can see them tonight in the Fuel Room in Austin. There's a couple of tickets left for that show. It sounded pretty good. That leads us to our, uh, our first uh, question from the Tom and Emily Facebook page. We posted, Nancy Hansen asked, how's your voice doing? It sounds like it's doing good. You sound yeah. like you're all right. Proves in the pudding, you know what I'm saying? It feels good. I had to go get a surgery this last year. We were about to do, uh, we started up uh, uproar. uproar tour. And about four shows in, it was just, we went out and we had to like at least try to see if I could pull through and it just yeah. wasn't happening. I was just, I had these, uh, what they're called nodes or polyps. They're like calluses on your vocal cords just from overuse. And, you know, I just, I beat that voice into submission. So we had to pull off the, the tour and that kind of put a whole wrench in the whole system. But, you know, I had to go get surgery and, and, and come back from that. My, now my voice is stronger than it's actually ever been. Is that the kind of thing you got to worry about it coming back then? You got to take it easy some? Do you worry about that? Oh, uh, well, you know, I'm saying I, I don't I don't uh, guzzle vodka and smoke cigarettes and pop Vicodin yeah. like candy anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> Sucks to be you. I guess. I nah, it's cool. My no, it's my life is totally turned around, man. I'm like, I stop all that stuff, man. I'm like, oh, I can't do that no more. Plugging it in tonight in a fuel room in Austin, you know, that's how we like to hear Papa Roach. But the acoustic sounds really good too. You guys uh, have done a lot of songs acoustic. It's out there. Have you ever? I, you kicked around the idea of putting out an album. Oh uh, well, point, you can right? go. There's on iTunes right now. There's a there's an EP called Naked and Fearless. Yeah. And uh, you can go pick that up right now. There's like some. I think it was on the Metamorphosis. Uh, album cycle we went into James yeah. Michael's studio and cut a couple of acoustic tracks and put it out and uh, so yeah we're no stranger to doing the acoustic stuff it's been a while since we've done it though so you know it's like yeah. all right brushing it off we were in the bus last night we we're like all right cool we better we better nail this because we're showing up tomorrow we better kill this so. it's a lot less than forgiving than doing it plus oh yeah dude it's stuff. like yeah. when you're playing in the big sound system man you got the air moving people are sweating everybody's drunk you're all probably not hammered right now so yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> It's like later tonight, everybody's like, Woo! Yeah. I could be singing for halfway off key and nobody cares. You know, you don't saying? read Midwest people pretty much. These are they're all in the bag, all of them. <laughs> Y'all in the bag right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. How far in the bag? Yeah. Halfway? All the way? Pretty far. Pretty oh, far. Yeah. Pretty, all right. So, uh, small venue tonight, Fuel Room in Austin. It's a nice small venue. Everybody can get right up close to the band and stuff like that. Well, that's small. Yeah, I'm going to pretty much teabag yeah. the front row. That's all awesome. night. That's just the liquor talking now. They're not that excited. You into that? That's all right. <laughs> I got big balls. Yeah. By that he means he's bringing like soccer balls, lacrosse balls, all that stuff out tonight. You can't have balls in the That's ring. what he's talking about. No, you can. You can't. Okay. No, 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 no. I just I I want to start doing the interviews from the back of the room now though is the problem. So <laughs> that explains that. You do a venue like that, and then this weekend, big weekend, uh, rock on the range yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. You get out in front of all of those people, so that's uh, gonna be epic. You got a you got a preference to play to people who are right there. You got an intimate crowd. You, they're r loving all your music, or do you like getting in front of people that are there to see forty bands? You know, I mean, we're we, we shine in both environments. You know, what I'm saying no matter if we're playing a small club or we're playing that big old giant festival. You know, that's just something that, you know, give us a stage, give us the drums, guitars, a mic, and a crowd that wants to get down, and that's that's what we're about. You know. Yeah, you guys have been around and so strong for so long. You've played with so many big bands. Do you have a favorite band that you look forward to when you get to a festival like that and it's a huge lineup? Are there bands that you like to see or bands that you like to play along with? As of lately, we've been really enjoying going watching the Deftones. Yes. That's yeah. like one of those bands, you know, we grew up going and seeing them at the small clubs back in the early 90s. That was one of the bands, I think, that really just kind of inspired us all at a young age to want to play rock and roll. You know, we go see Faith No More, or Jerry go see Metallica or whatnot, but when we started going all together, you know, we go to those Deftone shows and we leave and we'd be like, dude, that's what's up. Like, yeah. that's what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, You're still a fan. Still a fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Their new yeah. records are awesome, man. Yeah. Swerve City. We actually turned our back lounge. That's our back lounge's name now, Swerve City. Very nice. So, if you want to get weird, just take a trip to Swerve City. And Tobin is your host. And maybe the, <laughs> maybe the aforementioned balls will be there. Who knows? I don't know what that A few called. sets if you need. In the fuel room tonight at Austin's. In we like to burn hot dogs back there, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that means, but it, I it think sounds it, I funny. I think it just went with the whole kibbles and bits right there. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose hot dog are you burning, <laughs> dude? Yours, if you come oh, on right, in, buddy. All right, all right. Oh man, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Emily's like, <laughs> I don't really know how we segue out of that. You like Star Trek? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hey, Spocker. Look, 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 he's got the Spocker going. He's oh, got yeah. the Spocker going. Two in the pink, two in the stink. Oh, sorry. sorry. So, now that we know all Vulcan women are loose, great. <laughs> <laughs> Did Emily have a conversation with you prior to the interview today about Star Trek is what I want to no, know. No, she just said she was like, just yeah. do this. Yeah. She, I, I was going to ask you some stuff about Star Trek, but Emily polluted the interview by already bringing up the topic with you. So, she can't lose. Uh, but you're not, you knew this, well, right? you gave it away with a damn shirt. Well, yeah, I mean... Uh, st the new movie opens tomorrow, so and it's gonna be kick ass. I actually just watched the uh, what's the, what's the new the first, the first one, one? The, yeah, the the J.J. Abrams thing. I just watched thing. that the other day. It was great. It was great. Yeah, yeah and they got awesome. another one coming out. It was great, Emily. Did you hear what Papa Roach just said? I really did. I really Star did like it. Star Trek was great. Sorry, I'm letting you down. Suck it, Emily. She was looking at me. She's all sitting on the couch next to yeah. me. She's like, "You don't like Star Trek, do you?" I'm like, "Oh no." She's in there trying to get his answers changed. You cheating? I'm like a politician cheating. up here. I'm glad she's in the front I'm row. Just working it. I'm glad she's in the front row near the aforementioned big. Anyway, let's get another song acoustic uh, from Papa Roach before this goes any further. What do you got for us? This uh, well, you know, on more of a serious note, we got a uh, this track, "Leader of the Broken Hearts." We uh, this was uh, one of the tracks that we wrote 
later, very, very late in the process of the record, our producer, James Michael, he was going back listening to some of the old school Papa Roach, and uh, he brought up uh, a song like Forever, you know, something that kind of, he's like, why don't you guys go write something that kind of sits in the same world as that? And uh, so I remember you guys broke out the acoustic guitars, and this was born from a song that we jammed on like two albums mm -hmm. prior, and uh, then they just started writing this song. And then I had this other lyric from this other song that we started that didn't make the record, and I started singing that melody over this. And uh, that's uh, when Leader of the Broken Hearts was born. And so we, we actually got a video, too, on our website. So check it out. Go to YouTube, Leader of the Broken Hearts. All that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get at it.
Alfred Roach live from 95 Will Rock Studio East. So yeah, I guess the, the vocal cords are holding up pretty good. That's good. Yeah. That's what's up. Anybody else in this room sings this this song that way, then by the end of it, they're like, I can't talk anymore. And you're going to do a, that? It's a high one. Like that's yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it's one of the higher ones of the... That's why I was like, man, we got to get up early and sing that one. <laughs> but like, like to get you know, up early at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Nah, the life of a rock You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear Let's you. rock and roll, mate. We don't go to bed before 2. <laughs> And everything's turned up to 11. It's up. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Plugged in tonight in the fuel room at Austin Saloon and Eatery in Libertyville. Tickets, just a few, still available. AustinSaloon.com for details. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming out. I want to ask one more uh, question from the Tom and Emily 95 Warrock Facebook page. Michelle Smith wants to know, what's your favorite song to sing live? Do you have a favorite? It's like asking somebody to pick their favorite kid. Tell what's yours? Um, Unskinny Bop. Un yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm going to definitely go with... Um, I don't know what's going to come in between. I don't know. Maybe uh, lately. Uh, no, not. I mean, I love that song. That song's popping. Don't get me wrong. That ignites Last crowds. Resort, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I would say lately the most hypes. Uh, where did the angels go? That's mine. What about you, Jerry? I'm going to say Before I Die. Ooh, yeah. a little unskinny bop. An unskinny bop. <laughs> and we're going to do cover band hits now in Studio East. Dude, it's going to be awesome. Papa Roach, your most rocking cover band ever, right there. Duh. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming out today. Thanks for having us. Papa Roach. Thank you guys. PapaRoach.com. See him tonight in the Fuel Room in Austin. It's FuelRoom.com. Uh, get the line on those final tickets. Coming up in a couple of minutes, and you'll be able to see, able to see it live at 95WillRock.com. Thanks to Vision 4 Films. Jason and Emmett are here doing the video today. Uh, we've got one more band that you'll see tonight in the Fuel Room in Austin. So that's Otherwise. They will be here in a couple of minutes. Escape the Fate, Otherwise, and Papa Roach tonight in the Fuel Room in Austin. Thank you, Papa Roach. Tom, keep live from Studio East. Coming up with otherwise, otherwise in a couple minutes. Ninety-five wheel rock, the rock station.